you need to ensure good quality because ultimately that's that's the product you're building. Um, to, to do it, you will have certain control measures and systems in place, which is where quality management comes into play. Um, examples are you could have a, an overall quality management plan. So how you throughout the, fate, the life cycle of the project ensure that you're at each stage producing the right quality or the right the correct scope that the de essentially has been designed. Part of obviously quality is you want to be known as someone who's got the capability to deliver if you're a contractor in the industry. Um, quality is essentially the quality of the product, so the, the build. Um, you want to be known for having building a quality product, um, achieving all the, the scope, the cost and the time that the client agrees with you at the start, subject to any change of course. Um, if you don't achieve the right quality or you find that months down the line you're going back to finish off work. That, that's, that's quite bad reputationally because in the client's eyes potentially you've not achieved or you've not set out or done what you've set out to do and it raises concerns over your capability to deliver. So quality management dovetails quite nicely into reputation. It's so important in the industry. Your name is your kind of worth in the industry. So there's different ways and quality can be broken up into different areas from the, the, the quality of the, the product or from the, the time scales you set out to achieve. But we'll, we'll look at um, the, the product or the, the actual build for a second. You will have basic things like an inspection and test plan um, to supplement each time when you set out to build something. You will say, right, this is the, it's a concrete foundation. At, could be a C3240 concrete and it's got a certain type of steel rebar. When you go out to build it, you will check, if it's internally or a subcontractor, you will check the inspection and test plan to see is this the specification, does this match the design, are we happy? Once you've built the product out on site, you'll do a quick test. That could be to make sure that the concrete's achieved the right strength or that it's got the, it's called a slump test, in which case it's the right, it's, it's fluid enough for the concrete to pour and set. So an inspection and test plan is one good example of how we ensure quality and what we're installing is to the right quality. So, so, so one of the challenges um, that we experience in the industry is what's called snagging or defects. So, so historically there have been a lot of projects where after you've achieved completion you then find that maybe it's not achieved, been installed to the correct quality in which case you could have multiple months of repeat work to come back at your own cost to then repair. So one of the biggest industries historically is managing defects on a construction job. Um, some situations if it's not been installed to the correct specification the clients within their full entitlement to actually tell the contractor to take it all out and start again. So one of the biggest challenges on the industry just now is defects and one of the solutions is better quality management. Quality management, um, people are seeing that quality management isn't just um, at the end when you'd have a traditional clerk of works to sign off the build, it's what people are understanding is it's a, an iterative process, it happens throughout the job. You need to be, have people in who are looking at it from a quality perspective, they're not influenced by sight factors, they're not emotionally involved in the actual the physical works, they'll come in periodically and ensure that whether we've got our method statements up to date, our inspection and test plans, have we got a plan and we've got a um, a certificate signed off for each component of the build. Um, in terms of digital advances, we have things like building information modelling which will help show what the, the, the end products will be. Um, it will, at the earlier stages, BIM's not just the 3D model, it's also the process. So at the start of the job, you will also set out potentially what the quality management plan is at the inception of the project so that you agree how you will ma monitor and manage quality throughout the project and what systems. So at the very start of the job, once you've defined the job, 
you'll also have a management plan in place. So a lot of companies are now engaging more in that process, um, whereas beforehand they didn't. So Construction 4.0 and digital technologies tie in quite well with quality management. Um, the idea is we're trying to get better at construction, we want to build a better product, we want to do it faster but we also want to do it correctly. Um, in terms of digital, um, I would say that access to physical demonstrations of people on site, taking something simple like a video of the installation to show it's been installed within the correct methods or the photo of the end product before you backfill if it's a foundation for example. Um, so real time reporting, um, you've also got, um, it's, it's, there's silly things like you can actually have something like a drone flying through to actually be able to monitor aspects of site which may not be accessible after completion of the works if it's a, um, I don't know, it's a, it's a rail line for example, it's sometimes it's, there's now developing ways of having a, a drone to scan to fly through above the kind of OLE or the overhead line wires just to kind of scan the area just so you get a feel.